And health experts continue to push home the point that the vaccine is the best way to fight the virus. Today, tomorrow, Oswego County holding clinics to get more folks protected. News Channel Line's Adrian Smith went to one to see how the turnout has been. Well, Christy and Jeff, more than 50 people showed up here to get their dose, and it may not seem like a large number, but ever since the county decided to scale back and start hosting these smaller vaccination clinics, really the goal is just to get as many people in as possible. I spoke with two sisters who say now was the right time for them. So we work for a doctor's office here in Oswego together, and um, we just decided that it was time for us to get vaccinated. Angela Velez and her sister Gina Garcia didn't have vaccine appointments scheduled, but they knew they wanted to come to the county's clinic together. We had grandparents pass away in the beginning of the year from COVID, and our whole family basically has had it. She's had it. I'm lucky enough to not have contracted it, but just thought it was time to get vaccinated. Over the past couple weeks, Oswego County has seen its COVID-19 weekly caseload double. Most of those cases are people who are either unvaccinated or not fully vaccinated. I mean, there's some good news and bad news. So our population over 65 has done very well. We're over 80% vaccinated in that group. Um, but our younger population hasn't been quite as quick to, to take us up on our vaccine offers. And with school right around the corner, the county's pushing to reach even more people. This may be the motivation that some people need to say, yeah, maybe I better go uh, and get vaccinated. We work with a lot of um, people in the office of all ages. Mm -hmm. And, you know, our children are our main priority. So yeah. we just, we hopefully we'll be able to get them vaccinated as well. And everything will be good. The county's next clinic is actually going to be tomorrow at the Sandy Creek Fire Department. That's going to run from 4 until 7.30. Appointments are encouraged, but walk-ins will be accepted. In Oswego, Adrian Smith, News Channel 9.